So this is very similar to the previous video um, I recorded about finding out the product usage for the TimeWise customers. However, um, the additional filtering for just PCP customers needs to happen in a, another step. So what you can do is go to the product list and choose usage by customer. Then change the date to all dates. And we're going to go ahead and choose the product line of TimeWise. And we're going to start out with just the cleanser. And then select all. And click to add to list builder. And we'll put PC TimeWise cleanser. So even though it's only my cleanser people right now and it's everybody, we will filter out the others in just a moment. So I'm going to click OK. And no, I don't want to view it because now I'm going to add the moisturizer customers. And again, I'll select all. And you'll see like I have personal use here. I can either remove it now or just wait until I have it in the list builder list, which is um, easier. And this time, instead of a new list, I'm going to choose existing list and choose that PC TimeWise Cleanser Moisturizer list that I created. And yes, I do want to view it. And now I can close my product list and I'm going to do some first cleanup with oops, with this by clicking the edit button and I can start because I know for sure that my house account, my business supplies, my personal use are not going to be included and then um, click OK on that and open my customer list and from the filter sidebar I'll choose yes under a preferred program so I'm only seeing my PC customers then let's edit that list again and I'm just gonna say all customers so it doesn't include consultants or anything and then I want to go through and see um, and just match up who I want to um, remove from this list. So, for example, Leah Avery's on there, Isabel Berry's on there, um, Lorelai Blanders, um, she's not on there, which means that she's on a different um, skincare regimen, but she is on my preferred customer program and I would just kind of go through and remove those that are not on my PC uh, program and when I'm finished then this is accurate and I can choose to do a group email of course I have to select them all or select those that you want to send a group email to um, as well as you could print as a report or mailing labels.